all right guys welcome to laravel series and in this video i am going to validate this form uh so that uh it will say a require over here okay a lot with a lot so and user cannot you know uh send the request if validation isn't completed so and we'll see here if the product is created okay here uh with a session flash message and also here if if there is any okay so let's let's do that so before uh so where we can do that is in product con controller before saving uh this uh, request data will validate that request all right so we'll say request validate and we'll say uh we want to validate our what is their title so we'll say title is required uh, or um, minimum three let's say that and you know r is uh, both should be true all right and we'll say our price and it's also required Mm, yeah all right let's save that have semicolon here and let's see if it, it will save or not uh, actually let's let's do only two and it doesn't redirect us to here all right so now we want to show error here okay so what we can do is go to our views in, and in layouts in master uh, uh build nav bar if there is any error we'll show that okay all right here it is content ill content but we want to say uh here or here wherever we can say let's say here no let let, let it be you know clean all right and and we'll say uh, let's have all it from bootstrap all right uh yeah here it is bootstrap alert uh all right let's pick this alert this danger one okay uh yeah where it is where it is here let's copy this let's close this and let's open uh, and we'll paste that and uh inside this we want to have error okay so we want to loop through this okay so we'll say at if we're taking condition uh dollar errors errors any if there is any error um then we want to loop through that error all right uh at for which dollar uh errors all so we're taking every error all error and we're telling to you know uh, we'll use error for single error and we'll say at end for each we'll end for each loop all right and we'll also say in loop in if at end if all right so uh in here we want to have our error Uh, let's have that All right dollar error. Let's refresh the page All right, and let's start typing. Let's say w do only only two. Okay, and we'll have price whatever Accessories all right submit this and yeah see here the title must be at least three character if it is empty It will say required. Yeah, see how beautiful it is, but we are seeing this a little bigger so Let's have a container around it, okay? Um, in all the error, okay? Div dev class is equals to container. All right, let's got it. Let's paste that here and let's save, let's refresh, let's submit. All right, now you can see, let's have a little bit padding to the top. Uh, let's say margin actually, margin top let's say two let's rephrase yeah now we cannot submit data till the validation is well let's say t 
let's say TV and price will be 5000 and exterior will be furniture and submit see it's still uh, there is zero and we can also have our data you know uh, we'll do that in next video maybe uh, let's say television now because we we must have at least two at least three and price five thousand and submit all right now you can see it's saved all right now we can also validate our category and this will work for that all right so this was a video about you know uh how we can validate our data and so this little uh you know your message here uh yeah uh, when you refresh it is gone all right uh and nick and now in next video we'll we'll um we'll try to We'll try to you know if product is created, uh, we'll go uh, our it is page is redirected here and we'll show a session message okay flash message so it will say uh, our product is created okay let's let's do that okay in next video.